What's up guys, Max Tech Guy here. Today I want to talk about a product that I recently got. It's the Samsung Level U headphones. These headphones have been out for a while, but I decided I needed some new headphones to get to the gym with. This headset is completely wireless, which is a plus for me, however the downside is that it has the around the neck design. The headset features 12mm drivers, noise and echo cancellation, magnetic earbuds, flexible arms which go around your neck, Samsung's S voice, and claims to have battery life of up to 10 hours of playtime. Out of the box, it obviously features your Level U headset, a micro USB cable to charge the headset, and extra earbuds in case you don't like the one that comes pre-installed. Right off the bat, I will say that this headset is very light and comfortable. I'm not a huge fan of the around the neck design, but I will say that I don't mind this headset. Mainly because it's light, unlike the LG Tone which I feel are heavy and bulky. This particular headset is black sapphire, but you can also find them in white, blue, and gold. Around the top of the rim of the headset is where you'll find a little flap that opens up to reveal the micro USB port, which you can either use the included cable or a micro USB cable that you might already have. On the bottom rim of the headset is where you'll find the power switch, which isn't very hard to find when you have the headset on. One of the flexible bands that goes around your neck is where you'll find all three controls. The volume up button, the volume down button, and the play slash pause button. In addition, if you long press the volume up button, it rewinds for one second, and long pressing the volume down button forwards for one second. Pairing this device is very simple. If you turn the device on for the first time, it should automatically connect or start initiating the pairing mode, which is noticed by the flashing red and blue LED light on the inside of the headset. All you need to do is go to settings on your phone, turn Bluetooth on, and you should see Samsung Level U come up within a few seconds. Now, if this isn't the case for you and your headset was not in pairing mode, you will need to press and hold the play slash pause button for about three seconds and the LED light should start flashing red and blue again, which should tell you that it's in pairing mode. Once you're connected, you can also go to the Play Store and download the Level U app from which you can have more control over your headset. You can have it programmed to suggesting certain apps when you connect the headset to your phone, to also limiting notifications to avoid you from being interrupted. All in all, this headset is among one of the most comfortable and best sounding headsets that I have owned. The gel earbuds that come with the headset mold right into your ear and don't bother you even after long periods of time, which I have problems with most in-ear style earbuds. Most people nowadays prefer wireless headsets compared to your traditional corded headphones, but price is where most people stop at. You can always buy a cheap wireless headset, but the, either you find the distortion in the sound quality, or the Bluetooth range isn't very good, so you end up settling for the included headphones that came with your cell phone. The price on this headset is not very high, coming in at $69.99 straight from the manufacturer. However, I did find that you can pick these up for around $35 to $50 on Amazon, which I have linked down below. For that kind of price, this definitely is worth it. One thing that I will have to give this headset props on is the sound quality. Now, I'm not a very knowledgeable guy when it comes to audio, but this headset sounds really good. It has a deep but subtle low end and very clear audio giving you that in-between sound quality that most people love to hear. These definitely are not for you if you prefer a more aggressive treble or aggressive bass type headset without tweaking the equalizer. You definitely have an enjoyable experience when listening to music on these, which again, I find hard to find when it comes to sub 100 pair of wireless headphones. I primarily use these when I go to the gym, so working out with them has not caused me any uncomfortable situations. When laying on the bench, they don't move around much and didn't find them sliding out of my neck. However, they do bounce around a lot when you're running. It doesn't bother me much, but I can see this being an issue for some people, if not most. Oh, and lastly, I forgot to mention, the magnetic earbuds is definitely a nice touch that Samsung has added. Being able to just stick the two earbuds together makes it easy to be tucked away either in your bag or around your neck if you're one of those types of people. Well guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to leave a thumbs up and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.